Hi, I'm Dorothy White. I'm with the Nelson County Schools Community Support Foundation. And we have a very special guest here with us today, Ms. Dixie Hibbs. And she was with us from day one when we started the T. Gerald Florence Outstanding Alumni Award. And Dixie and I were just talking a little bit here that uh, back in 2000, they felt that the foundation would build up a nice alumni base so that we could, you know, give some recognition to the folks that have done so much for Nelson County. And Dixie, I certainly know firsthand how many things you've been involved in over the years. Uh, I loved it when we did the, how the women changed this town <laughs> and we're out in the middle of the, the street uh, yeah, right downtown. I have a picture of that. Uh, it, uh, I actually had that framed and have it great. at my house. Uh, only because it was so phenomenal to think that all those positions, all those key positions in Nelson at County point. at one point mm -hmm. were filled by women. Mm -hmm. And were you the first mayor of Bardstown? Yes, I was the first female mayor. First female, female mayor, mayor yes, of Bardstown, that's what I meant. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just so proud of you and all the history that you've done in the past and the expert that you have become, and it all started at Nelson County Schools. You know, I started school in Nelson County in 1948. I uh, was actually wanted to come in 47, but my at the time they wouldn't let you uh, come to school unless you were uh, six before January 1st. Well, okay. I missed it by 12 days. Oh. So anyway, I uh, started school at Old Kentucky Home. At that time, it was a grade and high school. So I spent my entire time there. Uh, I graduated from there in 1959. I, uh, my graduating class was 42 students. We were all quite interesting. Uh, yes. you know, of course, we had our Washington, D.C. trip and all those things. And I played in the band. We had 16 people in our band. <laughs> I played the snare drum. I always have liked to make a lot of noise, so that was the noisiest <laughs> thing I could do there. But we had a lot of uh, fun. Uh, I know I, I tell my, I'm sitting in the gym there. Like a couple of weeks ago, my great grandson's playing basketball in the little league. Oh yes! And I'm sitting there thinking, I've sat on these bleachers before, and I have played on. You know, I've had pictures of me up on there. Well, I didn't care a thing about sports, so I always brought a book. Yeah. So I'm sitting reading the book, and the basketball game is going on back and forth. Well, that doesn't happen now with my great grandchildren involved. I'm always watching them. But that was a good school. It was well built. It was uh, not so big that you uh, didn't know everybody. Of course, not knowing, when you know everybody, you know everything that's going on, and you can't really get in trouble. You can't hide the fact that you're <laughs> Maybe that's trouble. a good thing. Maybe, maybe you can't hide the like, fact. Yeah, that yeah. way. Oh, we had a strong FFA group. Cause and of, still do. Yes. Still do. That's because most of us came from out in the county. This was the county high school. Before it was built, you had Bloomfield High School, you had Boston, and the county people that weren't in Bloomfield and Boston went to Bardstown High. And I wrote a history on Bardstown High in 2008. And I thought at the time, this is what, why, when they built that school, what a difference it made. More students oh, yes. come from out in the county. Right. At that time, um, of course, busing is what you had to have. That school was built right before, well, actually finished in 1943, the building. Well, it didn't open until 46. Mm -hmm. And because of the war, World War II, there wasn't money for gas for the buses. Right. They did not um, consolidate the school until after the war was over. They used the building, and I love this because we're still using the building. Uh -huh. They used the building to have a cannery. Now the yeah. Oh my the gosh. People in the community. Now see, we don't know no, that, no, Dixie. So it's so good well, to hear they, that history. Uh, they had set up a canning line. I'm not sure what all was involved, but they did this in Bloomfield also. But Kentucky Homeschool had a canning line, and you brought your produce in from the gardens. Mm -hmm. You had it all ready, and they ran it through the canning. And then you took most of it home, but you left some there because that's your payment. And they took that, and they fed the school children. And now we're going back with Feeding America, yeah, basically right, to right the same. There. You have to take care of each other. That's right. And I think that's one thing that I am so proud of in Nelson County, and and just with the different things I see in the community, they do help one another. I think I've always said that's one of the strongest things. If they see a need, somebody steps up. They do. Somewhere. They do. We actually have an event that's coming up uh, on Thursday, April the twenty sixth, and that's going to be at Thomas Nelson High School, our newest mm. high school. 
school. It's lovely school uh, there too. Someone Absolutely. have not been able to, you know, get in and do a tour. So we're going to offer a tour of Thomas Nelson. That's going to start at 5 p.m. on Thursday, April 26th, and then at 5:30 p.m. we're going to have an informal meal that's going to be catered by Lee's Chicken. And then our program is going to begin at 6.30. That's when we are going to honor uh, not only our 2018 seniors that we have coming up, and this is one of the first invitations, Dixie, and I'm going to leave yeah. that with you. Yes, thank you. But the 2018 seniors, but then it's going to roll right into our alumni. And that's where I feel like key people like you can tell friends, family, anyone who would like to attend that. We would love, love to that. have them right. there. Uh, if they're there in time for the tour, that would be wonderful. If they can't get there until you know five thirty or, or six thirty, right. uh, that's why we tried to give a, a time element there because it is on a Thursday evening. Uh, give everyone an opportunity to be there. But I thought this was interesting um, when I read this. The T. J. J. Florence Outstanding Alumni Award uh, was given by the Nelson County Schools, and it started with Nelson County School, Bloomfield High School. Boston High School, Chaplin High School, Old Kentucky Home High School, and then now the two high schools that we have, right. Nelson County and Thomas Nelson. Right. My, how we've grown, yeah. and what an opportunity it is for us to really showcase uh, how far we've come mm -hmm. and how many people that have been with us along the way. Right. Well, you have, what, uh, 18, this will be 11? Yes. So you've got a, at least 11 yes. different uh, distinguished alumni. Right. Uh, let me tell you the rest of the story. Okay, okay. I'd love to hear I, that. Of course, this is, you do not know you're going to receive this. This is a, a right, um, right. Yeah. Well, anyway, confidential thing. And I was going to go to Frankfurt and watch my grandson play football. Uh huh. And my husband says, "I don't think I want you to go." And I said, "Oh, you'll be fine. You just take. Uh, you can listen to it on the radio right. and all that." Right. They finally had to tell me, "You've got to go. You've got to go to Old Kentucky Home." And I said, yes. well, "What's going on?" And I thought, "No, that's not for me." You know, I was very, very impressed and humbled by this award. There's so many people in our community that got their their start, their educated got start their education. through the county schools, through the elementaries, on through the high schools, and I was just blown away. And uh, uh, but I have to say, I, I uh, my first thought was I'm going to go watch my family play football. You uh -huh. know? But this was my mother was there, my uh, sister, and uh, it, it was quite a, an honor. I've been very pleased that the plaque hangs in a special place that they call the me wall, where all the different yes. things that you've got. But I um, at that time I had not been mayor. I was a councilman. I had worked on various projects in town. I worked on the bicentennial and on the county bicentennial, different things like that. So. Uh, I, uh, that was a big surprise. It, it is, and it is an honor for the foundation to carry that on and mm -hmm. to look to the future. We've got so many folks out there that I have talked to, and so if they have graduated, there is a stipulation. Mm -hmm. uh, we like to them have them been graduated at least ten years. So uh, any graduates after uh, two thousand eight would not be eligible, but any time before that, and no. there's a lot of folks oh, out there. Lots of them. Uh, been very successful. And I'm going to uh, leave an uh, application here with you, Dixie. All right. I'll take because, it with me uh, because I may you think know, of somebody. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and please do turn that in. Mm -hmm. The Distinguished Alumni Award is something that we can be very proud of, and we look uh, forward to the future to carrying that on for many, many years. As a historian, uh, being involved in historical things is very fulfilling to me. Uh, but you don't have to be a historian. You don't even have to be a financially successful person. I mean, you don't have to be a millionaire to be honored like this. You just have to have given part of yourself in your vocation, in your community, making a difference is what this is all about. That's so true, and we really appreciate you meeting with us today yes. and, and talking about this, giving you a chance to reminisce a little bit. I know uh, I certainly enjoyed it, and I know if uh, any folks on that list, I'll, I'll leave that with you too, Dixie, mm -hmm. and any folks on that list that you're able to help me get a hold of, okay. um, I would really appreciate that. Uh, yeah. We want, yeah. Some I, of those, yeah. Well, that's it. Some some folks I am familiar Premier, with, yes. but um, others not so much. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, you've you've been in probably contact with these folks a lot more than I have. So just appreciate right. the help. 
I think some of them were older than I am, but now they're gone. So. <laughs> but, well, that's you know. why we think it's important to not only look forward to the future at Thomas Nelson High School, right. but also value the incredible people that have served us in the past. Thank you so much. We'll see you there. Okay.